Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Restricted Area by Crusader175. This continues our Numbered Rooms theme week, so hope you're enjoying that. This is Numbered Rooms and Entropic Lines. Let's go over the rules. So we have standard 6x6 Sudoku rules, meaning in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box. We are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We just have numbered room clues. Yes, I'm going to go over it every time, just in case this is the first video someone's seen. So what the what the the digit next to the numbered room clue the clue outside the grid is the numbered room clue the digit next to it tells you how far away that clue is from that cell so if this was say a four then we have to count one two three four and that places the two if this was a six we count one two three four five six and that places the two there so from over here if this was a six we count one two three four five six and we place the four there this was a three, we placed the four there. Hopefully that's clear. All right, we also have entropic lines. Entropic lines deal with low, medium, and high digits. Low being one, two, medium being three, four, and high being five, six. Every group of three consecutive digits along an entropic line, such as these three, these three, these three, etc., have one low, one medium, one high. So if this was, say, a two, that uses up the low for this group of three cells. So we'd need a medium and a high. They can be in any order, though. So this could be high, and this could be medium. So that's one option for this. But keep in mind that all of the groups of three along the line must have one of each exactly. And that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color these entropic lines. So let's just use green, purple, orange. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to use blue because I just noticed something about this, and blue will be less confusing for me. So we're going to use green, purple, blue here. So what this is representing is I don't know if green is low, medium, high. I don't know if purple is low, medium, high. I don't know if blue is low, medium, high. But it's one of each. I'm using a color to represent one of each, but I don't know what order they go in. But I do know that in these three consecutives, I have one of each of them. So I'm just choosing whatever this ends up being, if this digit ends up being a three, for example, then that means green is medium. If this digit ends up being a six, that means that this green is high. Hopefully that's clear. So these are the three different groups. So now if I look at these three, I already have a purple and a blue, and I need one of each. So this has to be green. Now if I look at these three, I already have a blue and a green, so this has to be purple. So you end up with this cycle. Green, purple, blue, green, purple, blue. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here, but I can't connect these groups together right now. So I'm going to use three different colors here. So I'm going to use red, yellow, and orange, red, yellow, and orange. So again, I don't know which is which. So at some point, hopefully we'll unite these colors so we'll know what's what. But this will help us understand what's going on here. So I'm going to start up here because this is why I made this blue. One property of numbered room clues that's important, except if the numbered room clue is cluing the one, but luckily none of these in this puzzle is clean the one. Um, you cannot put a one as the next to the clue, because that one is telling us count one, which is itself, and put a two there. <laughs> but there's already a one there. You can't have a one and a two in there. So one doesn't work. But also you cannot put itself there. So we can't put a two there. We can't put a three there. We can't put a four there, right? Because if you put ourselves, that's telling us that in the row, ourselves is also appearing again. So in this case, the two is also appearing in the second column. So we'd have two twos in the row, and that is bad for Sudoku reasons. So these can't be one or two, meaning these are from three, four, five, six. So neither of these is low, meaning the blue is the low. So this is one, two. These are three, four, five, six. All right. So that does mean that we have twos in here, right? But we need a two in this box. And the only option is here. So I guess the way to put that is one of these is going to be a three, because if I omit the three from these, then I end up with a two and four, five, six, and a two and four, five, six, and I end up with two twos in this box and no twos in this box. That's very bad. So we must include the three. And if we're including the three, that means we are not including the four, because we can't have two mediums, which then means that these are not three. So they are including the four, but I'm not going to mark that because it's across boxes. All right, that seems like good progress. So there's definitely a two in one of these two. This three, or sorry, this one two here is telling us three is in one of these two, which puts three down here. Definitely want to mark that. 
All right, so can this be a three? Yeah, it would put a, it would put a four there. That seems okay. Um, all right, let's think about this now. See, these are both five. So if I put one through six in here, they can't be one or five. Okay. Um, so that means that we have fives in one of, in two of these cells. Okay, this can't be a six because that would put a five here. That's only one, two. Um, so this is, this puts a five here. This puts a five here. I don't know what to do with this. Two, three, four. Oh, you know, one thing we can do is we can say that that affects what this is because this is the same entropicity. So if this is a two, this has to be a one because it has to be the other low. If this is a three or a four, this is the other three, four, because it also has to be medium. So this, if this is a two, this has to be one. Three or four is three or four, and six makes a five. Okay. And then here, this place is the four. Okay, I'm going to put one through six. This isn't one or four. So two would force a one. Three would force a four. Five or six would force five or six. Did that help me? Well, first of all, that means that neither of these are six, because these can't be twos. That's really interesting. Yeah, these cannot be twos. So these are not sixes. That's a three, five pair. So these cannot be fives. That's a four, six pair. So that means twos are in one of these two cells. Um, I don't know what to do with that yet. Um, oh, the threes are pointing. This can't be three. If this can't be three then this can't be 4. Okay, so that puts a 5 in one of these two cells, which puts a 5 in one of these two. So 5's in one of these two, this is not 2 or 3. Ooh, and it can't be, yeah, this can't be 5 either, because that would put a 5 also there. So this is 5, this is 4. 4 goes with 3, which goes with 5 and 3. 3 in the corner, deep, deep, dudes. Oh, there it goes. That's 6 and 4, that was delayed. Um, this is 1 and 2 and 1. This is 2 with the one. This is a five, six pair. I'm just going to type that out. And I don't think we need our colors anymore because I think Sudoku takes care of the rest. All right, cool. That was, that was really good. <laughs> um, what are we doing with all that? Let's make sure we placed everything. So oopsie, uh, let's start here. Three places the two there, five places the two there, and two places the three there. Okay. Five or six. Okay. This has to be the six because the four is there and that's the five. All right. Um, Two places five there. So I think we have taken care of every numbered room clue. Yeah, these aren't numbered room clues. These are. Okay. So it's just, and we've taken care of the entropic lines. So Sudoku should take care of the rest. So what are we doing? Um, let's start by putting this six here. And then this is a one, three pair. So this then has to be the two. And this is a three, four pair. The three though, can't go there. So that's four and three. All right, this is a two, three pair, and this can't be two. So that's three and two, placing one and three. This is four, five. That's five, that's four, because of that five there. This column finishes with a six. These two digits are a one and a four. All right, nothing there. Um, that means this is one, four. Ah, and it can't be four. So that's our one, four, and one. These are four and six. All right, that's six, that's four. This is a five, and these two digits are one, six, just like that, and we're done. Neat. That, that was neat how restricting these cells also restricted these cells because of the entropicity. Um, that seemed like the, the important deduction. Um, yeah, it's, it's really interesting how these numbered rooms interacted with each other. All right, neat. Um, well, I enjoyed that. Hope you did too. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.